Hey, we're the Keens. And in the fall of 2022, we bought a 20 acre piece of property in Northwest Louisiana. Come follow along as we turn it into a homestead. Today we're finishing the bathroom remodel. If you haven't seen the first video of that, go check it out. We started this bathroom remodel over a month ago. It was before Christmas. We've had to stop it multiple times for different projects and problems that have come up between now and then. It feels like it's been forever. It does. We're so ready to have this bathroom done and be able to use it. And so stay tuned and see what happens. Y'all, I am sick and tired of moving that toilet. I keep just pushing it from room to room out of my way. It's supposed to live under my pile of tools here. I got to replace the the closet flange on it. Uh, when I pulled it up, I broke broke it trying to take the bolts out. They were so rusty. We got all the piping fixed tonight. Uh, you can see the white on the studs is where I've put a waterproofing primer. The surround isn't going to go all the way up to where we cut. We had to cut up higher just so that we could lay the drywall on top of the flange of the uh, of the surround. Same thing on the tub. So over here, we actually had a lot of blocking. We didn't know it was in there, so I didn't have to cut as far. But I just went back to the next stud. Same thing over here. So I vacuumed up tonight. I haven't glued any of this in just yet until we it's all just dry fitted until we get the tub in here i'm not going to put any glue on it i think that's going to be a tomorrow project sharp bike fittings which the plumber said is fine under a house but somewhere like this where you're going to be uh, especially in an upstairs bathroom where if anything ever went wrong you wouldn't know it until uh, your ceiling downstairs started you know leaking so but we had to call the plumber because the drain was just kicking our butt we took the tub out put it in took it out put it in like six times and uh turns out the plumbing was actually really close but it was just like kicked off a little bit so I was gonna show y'all what we had him come and fix um, I got the plumbing in with this laser I would definitely recommend it if anybody's trying to do this because it was like impossible to measure you know from this stud or that stud or that stud and they're all none of them are straight so the laser kind of got me you know to where at least I'm measuring to the same place every time <clears throat> All this piping is what the plumber redid. It used to be CPVC. You can see the uh, pipe going over to it right there. So he redid that with, uh, I'm not sure what these are, but they're not uh, shark bite fittings, but it looks like it's PEX to me. Um, other than that, it's all in the same spot. Um, and then he didn't even do anything to the drain. He, he just was able to get that drain stopper in i i couldn't get it in and feel comfortable with it but um he's a pro and does this every day so he did that he uh changed this nipple here to a uh, copper nipple brass uh, brass nipple same thing on the that that one's actually going to come out but same thing up there uh so you can kind of see what the tub is going to look like now it's a little dirty from them walking in it this is the shower head we're going to put on and this is the uh the mixing valve you know it's going to go about right here so today we're going to finish putting the uh the surround in it's huge in this little room so we, we can't wait to get that in and get it out of our way and then from there we'll kind of start doing tile again
So we made a little mistake here. Um, Stetson ended up measuring from the back of the surround and that made it about two and a half inches off, which isn't a big deal for this hole because the plate actually will cover both of those. But for this hole, the plate isn't as big and it made quite the issue here. But we went to the store and we think we found a solution. So we bought this sink faucet that has this plate here. And we think it will cover both holes. So we'll do something like this and then have the faucet coming out there. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see if it fits. Think I can redeem myself? Maybe. Oh, perfect. Like <laughs> this is the last piece of drywall. We wanted to show you real quick what we've been doing. Uh, we had to buy three whole sheets of this mold resistant purple drywall because we were trying to put the bone edge next to the tub and the surround. The bone edge is something we learned from a drywall guy when our house flooded, but that's this kind of nice uh, factory edge. And the other side where you cut or even on the ends of it is just a little rougher and dusty. So we're trying to do it so that the, uh, the nice clean pressed edge is what will be caulked all the way around and where most of the moisture will be this one's very tight. We wanted to dry fit the shower head so that when Mallory goes to start doing her magic on these walls, uh, I don't find out it doesn't fit later, but it works good and it's taller than I am. Mallory spraying texture on the walls. Highly recommend this stuff. You can paint it within like, it says five minutes, but probably within 30 minutes. Where normal texture, if you did drywall mode, you'd have to wait like a day. It does smell horrible though, so make sure you got some good ventilation. She's 
she was wearing a respirator, but she's dying. Really should have just bought you a Tyvek suit. Yeah. <laughs> you look like something out of my painting nightmares. <laughs> Place the closet flange when I took the toilet out I broke the flange over here where the uh, the other t-bolt was so you can see it's broke right there oh um, cut it out with the oscillating tool so you can see the outside is where that old closet flange was they sell them that go inside and outside the pipe so this is one that goes inside so all I'm gonna do is glue it in and that'll be done. So I didn't get any videos of me painting, but I primed it a few days ago and this is the final coat of paint. And I think it looks pretty good. more of a padding technique than a scrubbing. Uh, that's because there's staples all on the floor. And it'll tear my sponge up. save just a little bit in case I add too much water. I think what I'm smelling is the four in there. It's pretty oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> Bathroom remodels. I'll like start here and then like work my way that way. Well, the seam is in the middle, so I would do like oh, start yeah, on one wall. Yeah, maybe do the smaller one first. I honestly feel like I could like lay it all down at once. All right, we'll get after it then with your bad self. Pick your corner and work your way out. Slump. For all you DIYers out there, you want it thin enough so you can move it around, but thick enough so it'll stand up when you put the notches in it. perfectionist.
that was perfect. Yeah, you could use a little touch right there. Huh? I said you could use a touch right there. Yeah. I don't know where your trial went. Um, I'll get it when I get it. Guys, I just want to say Mallory's a trooper. There's no way I could do this by myself. I'm all I'm doing is running around and grabbing supplies for her, and uh, it would take me all day or all weekend if it was just me. We're gonna be using the same tile that we used in the kitchen. Uh, you might see these little marks on it. That's just like glue or something from the way they pack them. Uh, this is the tile if anybody's interested in using it, but. Pretty, pretty nice, we like it. it. So for these first couple of tiles, I don't even have to measure the bathroom. Uh, we're just gonna do the first tile as a whole piece. And then we like to do thirds so that you don't end up with like an H pattern in the middle and then another full tile. So we cut it into thirds, so eight inches or 16 inches, depending on which end you measure from. And we'll just put the cut end up against the wall and it'll get covered with base. And that'll kind of start our pattern. So you don't need a fancy tile saw, just a hand grinder with a, uh, a diamond blade for masonry or brick and things like that. Just be careful when you throw it in the shed not to bend the blade like I did. So I'm gonna deal with that real quick before I start cutting. I think I remember you saying that you'll never do tile again. Yeah, here I am. Doing tile again. Yeah. Our grout already has a sealer in it and it's color matched for this tile. 
So what we've been doing is I do the grout pretty much until it kind of starts getting sticky. The stuff dries very quick. You wouldn't want to do a large room and then try to come back and scrub it. You want to do a little bit and then scrub, do a little bit and scrub. And then we'll come back and do one final scrub and uh, I think we'll be done. So you can see about how far I went over here. That's what it looks like halfway done. I just ran out. So we'll rinse and repeat until we get this room done. Let me grab out and dirty. For those of you who haven't seen other videos we've posted, you may be wondering where our sink is in this layout. Um, there is not one in this room, obviously, but here is our bedroom. There's the bath. And then over here is our sink and vanity and our closet. So kind of an odd layout for a primary suite, but it works. <laughs>